Kimberly here. Thank you for coming to my channel. Um, for the older or present subscribers that I've had for a while, if you've noticed I've started doing some ASMR videos, um, I'm kind of interested in that and I've been wanting to do that for a while. Um, I For newer subscribers, my channel is a vlog channel basically. I pretty much just do random vlogs about anything, anything that I find interesting. And sometimes I do reaction or um, type of videos. I've done a few um, uh, mukbangs, I think a couple of, a few product reviews. So I just do kind of some random, whatever I, I feel like doing that day, whatever idea I come up with, that's, those are the subjects of my, my uh, videos. But I'm, I'm not changing my channel into all ASMR. I'm still a vlogger and I will be doing just random vlogs and about uh, interesting subjects. I'll make videos about whatever. I still will be doing that. I just started doing the ASMR because I've had a little fascination with that for a while. And I've um, just started, I just decided, you know, I, I want to start doing that. And I'll probably be making um, several um, playlists with ASMR videos specifically. So if you want to listen to uh, a long line of ASMR videos, then I'll, I'll have a playlist set up for them. I already have one set up. The beginning of my ASMR videos are, I, I think I've got maybe f seven or eight, less than ten, I'd say. I don't really know how many I have, but probably less than 10 and I'll be doing those probably two or three times a week and I'll still be doing my vlogs or my other uh, random videos um, my my channel is very sporadic I don't have a specific time when I post it's just I wing it by the seat of my pants whatever and sometimes it's about things that are um, in the news or anything uh, that's happening in the world that may be of whether it's current events or pop culture or something I don't know just whatever whatever strikes me that I feel like making a video about and I still um, I'm waiting on the sentencing dates for um, oh I can't remember which one it was there's a couple of them there's well there's so many people that are being arrested and being put in jail oh the Chrisleys the Chrisleys is one and also um Elizabeth Holmes from the Theranos um group or the Theranos um company that she started um she was convicted so I'm I'm waiting on sentencing date for her and I'll probably do a video before in case people don't know who she is so I'm kind of waiting for a few of these people to get their sentencing dates and I'll make other videos about them and um, I'm I'll I might be doing some cooking videos in the future uh, I just probably will be doing just with me it's just gonna be a mix of all kinds of different things uh, just still keeping with my vlog. I'm not going to do total ASMR. It's like I say, I'll put those on a playlist and you can, when I post my uh, ASMR videos, I'll add them to the continual playlist so you can um, look in my playlist. And I have, oh gosh, I think about a dozen and a half or more types of playlists of all different types of of subjects and um, probably when I if I do start doing some of the cooking I did do one it's not a cooking video but it, it had um, I, I was making a salad and it was kind of like the announcement of my ASMR venture and I'll probably add stuff onto that with a to make a playlist for cooking and 
also I've been um, house hunting I guess kind of or looking for a different place to live because I want a larger I live in a one bedroom tiny house and that's why I'm in my truck I make a lot of my videos in my truck a lot of my vlog videos and uh, I've, I've been recently looking at houses and place to live and if it's anything like what's happening here, well across the country it is the the rents are skyrocketing it's insane and I've had uh, a few um, or looked at a few houses and uh, the rent was just insane and the uh, deposits were I, it's just crazy the way the rent is going up it's almost I wouldn't say it's doubled here it's probably gone up about at least a third within the past three or four years so if you were paying seven hundred dollars six seven hundred dollars for rent you're now paying about nine hundred to a thousand probably and that's the rate I would say probably about 30 percent that it's raised uh, in the area that I'm in and I'm in Texas and uh, we usually have a pretty low um, cost of living here, at least in the area I'm in. I'm not in a big city. I'm in a small town, and uh, it's it's pretty, uh, I won't say inexpensive, but not it's not super expensive here. But with everything uh, going up, uh, food, utilities, rent... Um, there's a huge, huge increase in a lot of, a lot of products here too. So the cost of bread, milk, and just other commercial products too have just, I mean, the price that I paid a year ago, I'm shocked. It's some things are 50 cents or a dollar more, and that's a lot. That's a huge jump for one year. So I might be, uh, looking for a house for a while um i did find one house that was a three bedroom two bath and uh, i put an application in and it was for 750 dollars, and that is very cheap and that's this is in a small town it's uh just a very small town that's not far from a larger city that's got about a quarter million people and the rent in the larger city is much more and then the the rents in the smaller town that I live in are probably about 20% less than in the larger city but the thing is the caveat is I would have I have to drive to work probably about I think around 22 24 25 miles something like that a one-way trip and uh, having to drive that back and forth every day um, it's it's a lot of gas especially with the cost of gas going up so I'm kind of in a quandary do I want to pay a thousand dollars rent for a house in a larger city or pay six hundred six hundred six fifty here seven hundred dollars but still have to spend the amount of gas and the time driving and the wear and tear on my car so I've been trying to move back to this larger city which I, I was raised in I, I'd lived in it for a long time but I had moved to the smaller town. So um, I'm kind of going through a, a quandary or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Looking for a house, a bigger house to live. I have found like a small, tiny, um, the garden sheds. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. But people are turning them into tiny houses. Uh oh, my light went out. Sorry about that. And... Um, they're refurbishing the inside there's a house here like that and it's sitting on a double lot and I've kind of considered um it's at a much cheaper price than a house but it's unfinished and I would have to hook up the utilities and then sheetrock it and do the plumbing and the electrical everything and um I'm considering that, but it is a tiny house, which is not what I want. I want a larger house, but it's much cheaper. It's like one third cheaper than, or no, it would, it's about the 
cost one third of the cost of a a house, a, a larger house here. And I've looked at a couple of uh, three bedrooms, and then I've, I mean, physically gone to look at them, and then um, I've just looked through uh, Facebook Marketplace. I've found a lot of houses there. And I haven't really, um, I've driven by them, but I haven't gone to look inside. I haven't done like a tour of them. And uh, the the insane cost of rent and the deposits, um, it's, it's just being, it's just been a, a situation, <laughs> I'll say. And I feel for everybody in across the country that is going through this it is really hard it's really uh mind-boggling and trying to pare it down because i've found lots of houses there are a lot of houses available here i've seen tons and tons of vacant houses people have been evicted or uh, foreclosed on there are tons and tons there's more vacant houses now than i've ever seen uh, growing up in this city and uh, I've noticed a lot of them are not being rented out yet, or the landlords are holding out. Uh, they'll put the the house on the market for six months or a year, trying to get like a uh, twelve or fifteen hundred dollar a month rent out of it, when previously they were getting less than a thousand dollars. So I see a lot of these houses that I've I've been driving by them for like a year, year and a half, and they're still for rent. And I just find that to be, that's crazy. It's not good business sense. Why would you let your assets sit there for a year, year and a half, two years, not being rented out because you want more money? That makes no sense at all. And so I've been going through something like that, and uh, I'm going to put updates about that. And eventually when I do move or find the house that I want um I'll do a little vlog series about the moving and the cost and everything and you know how it came about but um so yes I'm still doing my vlog and my regular type of videos reaction videos or whatever just random videos that I happen to come up with but I'm also adding to my channel some ASMR and I will putting be putting that on a playlist so you can just uh, if you want to listen to a lot of ASMR videos all at once, instead of waiting for <clears throat> each one to come out, you can listen to some of those in between the ones that I do put out. Okay, uh, thank you all. And to the new subscribers, thank you so much. I've gotten quite a few in the past few days. I really appreciate it. And um, thank you all. And um, to all my other older subscribers. I don't want to say older, like in age. I mean, like the ones that have been there that are hanging on. Thank you so much. It means everything to me. Thank you. Y'all have a good day.